Number 48, which of the following will increase the percent of NH3 that is converted to the ammonium ion in water? And then we have these three options. So we have to figure out, maybe it's like a multiple choice. Maybe we have to figure out which one of these three, A, B, or C, is going to increase the percent of NH3 that is converted to ammonium ion in water. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is we have to write a balanced equation, right? They're talking about NH3 being converted to convert something. That just means that you're making something into a product. So the ammonium ion is going to be a product. Okay. So it turns out that, you know, it seems like NH3, which is ammonia, is going to be in water and one of the products is going to be the ammonium ion. This is an acid-base reaction, right? So let's see. We have NH3, which is ammonia, plus water. And just know, guys, that NH3 is always going to be a weak base, all right? So generally speaking, when you have NH3 um, with water, the NH3 is going to be the base, and then the water is going to act as the acid. Double arrows because ammonia is not one of my strong, um, one of my strong bases. So then remember, a base always takes the hydrogen, so this will turn into NH4 plus, and that's ammonium, right? This one we know a polyatomic all the way back in the day, and then that means that the H2O lost a hydrogen, so it just becomes OH minus. Okay, so now we found out what our equation is, and maybe I'll just bring this down over here, and oopsie, there we go. All right, so it says, which of the following will increase the percent of NH3 that's converted to ammonium ion? So basically, we want to find out which one of these is going to increase how much NH4 plus we're going to make, right? We're increasing the conversion, we're increasing the amount of NH4, right? So we want this to increase. Now, they're also talking about percent, so we have to know the percent ionization formula. And anytime that we're doing acids or bases, the percent ionization formula is this right here. Maybe I will put this, um, let's see, where can I fit this? I guess I'm going to just put this over here. Now, this just depends on whether you're doing, you're talking about acids or bases. Since we formed an OH minus, the percent ionization is going to be OH minus divided by your initial concentration. But now, when we're doing acids and base uh, balanced equations, you can easily just swap one for the other. Since OH- and NH4 plus are both products, and the ratio is a one-to-one, -one, you could easily just say, okay, I don't really want to, I don't care about OH-. We could just get rid of this and just say, okay, I want to solve for NH4 plus, which is what I want to do. When I want to find out this increasing. So... That's just basically where this is coming from. Remember, the percent, if you want to increase the percent, that means that this has to increase, which basically is what we're talking about here. So now, which one of these is going to lead me to an increase in NH4 plus? Well, let's go based off of letter A. We're adding NaOH. Now this is all about Le Chatelier's principle, right? This was back in chapter nine, the gas chapter, which I wrote down here. So this is kind of just like a refresher. If we're adding NaOH, right? And this is, this is ionic, right? This will dissolve, right? Or disso disassociate to Na plus and OH minus. So when we go back up here, we have to say, okay, is there anything that's in common between these two ions? and this whole equation. Yeah, the OH minus, right? And that's over here. So now let's see, if we're going to add OH minus, basically, if we add this amount, is that going to increase this? Well, let's see. If you're adding something, you have way too much. You're always going to shift to the opposite side of your balanced equation. 
So if you have way too much of this OH, you're going this way. Is that going to cause an increase in NH4 plus? Remember, that's what we want. But if you're increasing on this side, you always shift away, which means that the reactants are going to be increasing and the products go back down to kind of help out with the equilibrium. So in this case, no, the other side is going to increase, not the NH4. So this one, unfortunately, that's not going to do it. We have to go to the next one. Okay. And now actually, actually what I'll do is I'll just say this was letter A, and we're increasing here just so that you guys have it. Okay, let me put letter A over here. Whoop. Now we're going to work on letter B. Let's see, is that the one that does it? Well, letter B. We're now going to add HCl. Okay. Well, let's see. The dissociation is between H and Cl. I have H+. Plus. And I have Cl minus. Now, the first thing you say is, are any of these in my balanced equation? No, right? I don't see an H plus and I don't see a Cl minus. But the thing is, now we have to figure out which one of these two can react with what's going on here. It's this one, right? Because we know a formula that any time that H plus sees an OH minus, it will always turn into H2O. So because I see an H+, plus, I know that it's going to grab the OH-, and it's going to help make more water. So there's two ways that you could look at this. We could either say that the OH- minus is going to be decreasing because it's going to be converting into H2O, or you could say on the flip side that the water is increasing. So whether you say that OH minus is dropping or H2O is rising, you'll get the same answer. Let's just say, I don't know, I guess since we produced way, you know, actually, eh, I guess we'll stick with the OH minus because we did it for here. So now in the, on the flip side, this will drop. Because the H plus that you added is going to snatch up that OH minus and turn it into water. So in this case, now you're decreasing your OH concentration. Now you have too little. If you have too little of that amount, you shift to the same side. So if I have a decrease on this side, I'm going to shift to that side to get it back. And that means that the NH4 would rise. And that's what we wanted. So on B, the answer is yes. That would definitely increase the NH4+, plus, which increases the percent ionization. And then if we look at the last one, let's just see, is this a multiple choice or is this multiple, is it multiple choice like one answer or is it many answers? Let's see. So now for C, we're adding NH4 plus Cl. So, oh, why did I say NH4 plus Cl? I jumped the gun. This is the breakdown. Boop, boop. So I have NH4 plus and then Cl minus. Are any of these in the equation? Yeah, right? Here it is. NH4 plus. And since you're adding that much, that's going to go over here. But then what's going to happen if you're adding this? you shift to the opposite side. Remember, if you have too much, you actually shift to the opposite side. So at equilibrium, you're going to go this way. And these, the reactants, are going to increase. So since you're shifting to the left, it kind of is the same thing as what happened with letter A. So this increase does not overall increase your conversion because you would shift back. So this one is the same as answer A, which is no. And there you go. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for viewing. And I hope to see you all in later lessons. Bye-bye.